crispy coil. Mister, that is. <clears throat> All right, right now we're in the lab, like usual. Got a couple, uh, couple little, you know, doing something a little bit different in this video. We got something from past, present, future. We got all types of little, uh, little knickknacks in here. I got the Roots playing live in the background. One of the best live performances you'll ever see in your life. And um, if you get a chance, like I get whatever CDs I want to get on this uh, on my phone. I pay like ten dollars a month, but I have this CD actually. It's called um, uh, Beginners Like Guide to the Roots. Um, it's like their best, you know, their best of. There's one song at the very end, right? It's live on BBC Radio. It's the Seed, uh, Melting Pot, and the Web. They do three songs in a row with a live band, right? Cody Chestnut and them. When he does the Web freestyle over the band, it's right here. Yo, I'm about to get so hype right now, people. Sorry, sorry. What? Yo, if you like hip hop at all. Yo, he just pulls this out of nowhere. Listen, I feel it coming on, ready? And he just drops it, boom, ready? Read G's, everybody, I'm a son of a gun. What? Talk sharp like a razor blade under the tongue. Wanna breathe like black, I collapse your lung. <laughs> Yo! Oh my God. What set I'm from? Y'all better... I'm a legend in the hood, not a hood alum. Cats can't walk while chewing your gum at all. What? Keyboard gotta do with a drum and all. Schooling on stage like I'm doing a seminar. Professional type, I'm adjusting my mic. Go to war, son, I'll give you any weapon you like. Jump off your dum dums or something to run from. Stop it, the hot shit, here's where it comes from. Philly worldwide phenomenon. <laughs> Civilized women, it's trying to ride. Yo, this shoe right here, that's what gets me hyped. I'm quick on the draw like Black McGraw. Can't tell what y'all cats rapping for. My name, Reek G's, and I'm back for more. See me getting more chips than a corner store. See a portrait of Malcolm X on the door. And I'm eating MCs like a carnivore. This joint right here. Amazing. This this leather right here. This little maze on the tongue. That's me right there like, ah, uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> Same maze on the inside. Amazing shoe, Pro, uh, Super Bowl joint. Little pattern right there. I'll turn it down after the song, guys. This little suede black swoosh. Yeah, he's still going. Do yourself a favor and peep this. Go download it right now. It's like 16 minutes long. The leather, though, is amazing. MCs never show loyalty yet. Cool Herc ain't never get a royalty check. No, no question, a bomb you set. Calm, collect, sharp like my name's Gillette. That Nike Air in the background. I never hesitated, yet yeah, I'm getting heavyweight of checks. For you that they're asking my dedicated yes, I spit live rounds that'll penetrate a vest. So, this right here is like a clear gray color. Amazing, dude. Amazing. Oh. All right, guys. This is the shoe that I just picked up. This is the, the new right here. If you guys are thinking about getting this, they fit true to size. The gum bottom. They it's a premium too, so you get like the little details that white. Let me turn this down. All right, people. So that right there is the uh, the Super Bowl trainers. I just had to bless you with that song. Encourage you guys to listen to it. Black Thought, my favorite MC. Look at that, man. All right, that's a really nice shoe. Um, we'll take it old school to what it, what it was like a few years ago. This is a LeBron 7. I copped this on release day, which was 10-2409, October 24th, 2009 at 9.44 a.m. They still had a whole size run, too. I just went that morning because I was at hype for these. As you can see, I always write on all my joints right there. And this right here is one of my favorite LeBron, definitely my favorite LeBron model. But as far as just colorway, it's so premium. Like this red airbag, when I, when I wear this, dude, this just, this just annihilates neck muscles. Like, and the leather um, that they use, 
is like see that tumble right there like it's really really nice man it's remastered if you get what i'm saying um the tongue it's that seven tongue with the fly wire the l the 23 logo used to have the laces have the tips i mean the laces are even nice on this model like you ever get a chance to get some sevens man but this one in particular is just so underrated the red tip this looks so good with a pair of jeans with shorts i just wanted to bring that out it's one of my favorite shoes in my collection wear it all the time still looks good so that's the old and the new right here i have some uh, nike ids that i did these are my, my three favorite air force one ids <clears throat> and i wanted to pull them out because um they have hirachis on there right now and i'm going in on the hirachis i can't front but um, Air Force Ones are like some of my favorite shoes, and they're starting to come back a little bit. It all started with Ronnie Feig when he like wore a pair. Like uh, if him or Kanye wear something, it's like over with. Like I swear, I shit you not. I was surprised that people weren't wearing dresses and shit after Kanye wore that kilt. I was really surprised heads weren't doing that because you, some of these kids start doing that with those ultra long T-shirts. How they like kind of, it's almost it's like it goes in cycles. Remember back in the day when Dipset was popping, everybody was rocking nine XTs and like. You know, it's almost like skinny tees, but ultra long. Like, it's weird how styles flip. Like, and um, I just try to stay timeless. I try, I try to stay classic polo. Like, I keep it simple, um, but I keep it dapper. You know what I mean? It's just how I do. But um, if you're a trend follower and you like to get down like that, that's, you know, it's all good. Like, I have no, no hate at all. But when I see what Kanye does, I'm like, uh-oh, this is next. Like, literally, Kanye could come out rocking some ta -da -da -das and a pair of uh, $24.99 McGregor's. You know, and as long as he has on like a, uh, I don't know, fucking a ripped pair of biker jeans, then that is, you know, it's a wrap. Like, it's just crazy how, you know, these dudes like set trends and, um, hey, all the more power to them. You know what I'm saying? Look what I did right here. The reason I bring that up. Jaspers. I love some of the colorways that he chose for his models. Can't front. Amazing. Like ID coil, crispy force ones, 2013. Used to come with a certificate. This was my Jasper Low. This is when they were using like real premium material still a couple years ago. Not that they aren't now, but kind of falling off a little bit. Um, this was the ostrich pattern that you could use. I used it on the tan and the, the white portions. That's it. And on the, the lace day. And it smells really good, the leather they used. Um. This right here is just a simple grain, the white right there on the swoosh. Simple white grain leather. Tan on the guts, Nike ID interior. I went with this, um, the gold Dubray right here. Nike Air still in gray because the tongue is all uh, gray leather. Pink leather wrapped mid and pink bottom. Oh, man, when I saw that that was an option, the pink leather wrap, what? Yo, it's just bananas, cuz. Um, love these, still haven't worn these yet, and, um, I got these, like, uh, almost as, like, a side thing for cancer and, um, stuff like that, and I knew that my aunt would like these, and, um, yeah, so, um, I, that was kind of inspiring me when I made these, so, um, and I put extra crispy on the back, just because, you know, obviously, Natch. All right, here we have the corks. When this option popped up, I actually talked my man Fomer into doing an ID when this option popped up. For the people that, that slept on this option, man, whew, I got two pairs just like this. Man, this is amazing, the job they did. Also, leather wrap midsole. That was something they pulled out when they did the Supremes on the 25th anniversary. They did. They started doing those leather wraps. They even got the air going good. But the, the, co the cork that they use for this is just amazing. Got the cream laces, that Barack Brown... Um, the leather is just amazing, guys. Like, for real, so good. Like, you can't even front on these old forces that they were making. Not even that long ago. Gold on the AF1, Nike ID on the guts, and then they have that red, that blood red right here with the white, the cream Nike Air. Man, I love this shoe. Love this shoe. It's another one, probably uh, another one of my favorite. Air Force One IDs, and then uh, my latest, which I uh, showed you guys. Man, I really hope people didn't sleep on this model. Man, they killed this, and I think you can still get them, man. If you have the money to get these, like, yo, amazing. 
as you can see, we got the Joseph A. Bank shoe trees. I got these for like five dollars. Shout out to all the people. I think Nate indeed put me onto that. They were doing like a 90% off joint. Of course, you have the Pendleton right there. That red leather swoosh. Gold on the back. Starks laces with that uh the Gucci feel to it. Gold right there. Green. The Barack Brown interior. And um, here it is with a um, metal tip. This is the way I'm going to rock them. Navy lace. That's the way they're going to be rocked right there. Just like that. Not tied, not nothing. I found these laces at a clearance shop, Franklin Mills. They're like really um, thick, almost like a, a silk material. And they have a, a metal tip. Oh, man, that green right there just sets it off. I love these. I love this shoe. All white chunk midsole. Now, you can see gum bottom always looks great, and um, I, you didn't even have to get leather wrapped on this one, and I chose not to. It was only 160 like, I'll take this shoe over a pair of retros any day. And by the way, those sevens that just released, um, in my opinion, they are garbage. Um, absolute garbage. No offense, dude. Like, I'm not, a tra I'm not trying to talk trash to anybody to cop them. Like, it's a dope model. The older version is all that. Um, my ex-girl got them for me for my birthday one year, um, the year they dropped, actually. So I do love the model. It's just that that paint job on those mountains, it looks like they gave a marker to a three-year-old, put it in his mouth, and, and told him to, to, you know, to do work. Like, it's crazy. That's a Helen Keller job. You know, no offense to all respect due to Helen Keller. Like, you know, she did her thing and all that. But, um, man, that was heavily disrespectful. But um, this, this black watch tartan um, print is just all that, man. I love this shoe so much. And uh, that's the third out of the, the three that I chose to to uh, highlight so as you can see the tartan joints right here the black watch cork jaspers all right anyway that's been crispy you got five pairs of kicks something old something new three of my favorites and um you know i'm gonna be making a lot more videos people as you can see i'm here watching the bulls and the heat get it so uh, i'm gonna continue watching that i gotta go make dinner in a little bit um enjoy your family people enjoy your time you got with your family i always stress that because you never know um and real quick if you've seen all these hype videos about um these boxes these big crates that look like a shoe box like yo my man bond has been making them for a minute not the first but definitely not the last um real real legit dude um like he's my homie i hang out with him and stuff so um yeah if you need any information go hit him up on instagram at loud bond all right so, um, that's neither here nor there. It's your boy Crispy. I just wanted to touch base with you guys and show you a couple things. Uh, if you ever have any questions, dude, holler at me, man. Um, definitely, you know, uh, and if you really can, if you're still watching this, like I said, I want to find out who watches my videos. If you're still watching this, hit the like button, drop a comment. You know, we can talk about anything. My dog, Jake, um, he's downstairs. I got to get him a bath. Yo, he's looking, he's looking treacherous right now, dude. He's all knotted up. He look, he looks like a straight up Jamaican, a straight up rude boy, bamba clad bambayan boy, straight up. What part of Jamaica are you from? Down by the beach, boy. A lot of mercy. Um, that's from uh, half baked. In case you didn't catch that. Um, why you gotta disrespect me when I'm on the grill, B? Damn. All right, I'm out of here, dude. I don't. I mean, I'm just, I'm just getting off topic here. You know what I'm saying? But um, that's all being said and done. Yo, that that Super Bowl pack went super under radar, but for one thirty, um, rather than that seven, like, let's see if this helps on the color. Yo, these joints are. Fun. Oh my God, this right here is like a see-through plate. Like, they killed this. Like. And they're mad comfortable. They just look good. Like, these are going to be great for whenever you want to wear them. It almost looks like that that jacket that your grandfather has in the closet that he hasn't worn in a while. But, like, it's still there just so he knows it's there. Like, at any given time, he can pull it out and just go out and, and you know, and, and clip a few honey dips. You know? A little couple John Baps and all that. But, um, translation. John Bap is something that I just say. I don't know. It's just a translation of a John. And a John is a noun. Any noun. Um, so like I said, that's the little Philly thing, but that's a crispy thing. John Bap and all that. Um, but yeah, let me go finish watching this heat game. All right. And, um, yeah, drop a comment. Please drop a comment, chop it up. And, um, until next time, same crispy time, same crispy channel. I always try to get it to 15 minutes cause that's what I try to give you guys every time. And yo, finish line. If you're watching this, can a kid live like, yo, <laughs> you should take advantage of this situation. Finish line for real. 
I need them Air Maxes. And Adidas, where you at?